The Foundation Principles of Great Coaching Part 2 Unlock Your True Potential and Reach L2 Global Community IP Always remember you have within you the strength, the patience and the passion to reach for the stars to change the world. Harriet Tubman In this lesson you learn how to better understand your internal and life purpose, how to motivate others to produce results, how to create an everlasting internal commitment, how to engage, advance and obtain commitment with powerful coaching questions, how to execute goals and reach L2. What is your true passion? If you want to be fulfilled, happy, content and experience inner Peace and ultimate fulfillment is critical that you learn how to find your life passion and life purpose. What is your life purpose? Your life purpose is the main reason why you get up every morning. This purpose guides your life decisions, influence behavior, shape goals, offer a sense of direction and create meaning. Live a meaningful life. Your life purpose is to live a meaningful life and progress in the field of your choice. That's why you have been created. Your personal efforts, not life circumstances, shape your life goals. Personal life experience. After living and working with people in more than 20 countries all over the world, I have come to believe that each of us is born with a unique life purpose. Your main task is to discover your life purpose first. What do successful people do? They identify a knowledge and live a life with a purpose the best they can. They take the time to understand their goals in life. Then they pursue them with even greater passion and enthusiasm. Now that you're more familiar with the life purpose, let's move forward towards your internal purpose. What is your internal purpose? Your internal purpose is your inner drive that lies deeply within you and guides you towards your life passion and life purpose. How does internal purpose and life purpose matter for you and your organization? Your positive attitude matters. Your internal life purpose influences your personal and professional traits that, that bring you daily work. This is why your optimistic behavior and positive attitude could make a big difference in work in your real life. Always remember that your internal purpose consists of your inner motivation and inner strength you bring to your daily life and at work. How do you get your employees to remain motivated to producing results? Be internally committed. Harvard professor Chris Argyris argues to be fully accountable employees need to be internally committed to achieving the results. Internal commitment is created when individuals have significant influence on defining the goals to be achieved and the path that requires to achieve them. When the goals represent a significant challenge and when all these are related to the central values and the needs of the individual. Align management to all level employees. Include your employees in your goal creation. When the goals represent a significant challenge and are doable and when the central values and management and all level employees are fully aligned, the positive results will be achieved. Reprogram your inner drive first. Reset and reprogram inner drive to excellence in order to positively influence other employees. Turn into GCIP coaching for help and watch your employees progress daily and grow to excellence. Share and work on your goals together. In other words, people need to be a part of the decision and goals process and what they are working on must be meaningful to them.
No matter what remain discipline. Like integrity, discipline is something we can spot in other people and something we admire. If you have guide, you're on the right track to succeed in anything you desire to do. If you don't, you may ask yourself why you don't have it and take a hard look and how it's holding you back from realizing your potential. Internal and external commitment mismanagement. More often than not, however, managers get external commitment from employees. When someone else defines objectives, goals and the steps to be taken to reach them, whatever commitment exists will be external and could create problems for the organization. Difficulties commonly arise when managers enforce values and actions consistent with internal commitment but implement programs that are consistent with external commitment. Managed poorly, such contradictions can create serious problems for the organizations. Employees learn to live with the inconsistencies by quietly distancing themselves from feeling responsible for the programs. The accountability problem. If employees are quietly distancing themselves from feeling responsible, there is an accountability problem. They will lose interest in the task if they don't play a role in defining them. As a result of that, employees will lose trust in the leadership of an organization. Work and plan together to solution. It is crucial that management and employees work together on planning and goal execution and pave their path towards success. The accountable organization has all level employees being fully internally committed towards a predetermined common goal. Every day is a game day example. As a kid, I used to play tennis with my dad. I would prefer to hit the ball really hard and not care how much where it ends. Also, I was too lazy to run for the ball each time that would pass behind me. I was thinking that being cool is more important than being consistent. Just the opposite with me. My dad was very consistent with practice shots and the game itself. And he was not playing just for the glitz or show off. He would also run for every ball no matter what. My dad used to beat me in tennis game because he knew that in real life every ball counts whether it's a game not, game day or not. How does coach create an internal commitment in an individual? By asking powerful and provocative coaching questions, coaches help individuals develop sense of internal purpose and commitment for the long run. Ask powerful questions, talk less and ask more. You need to understand someone's point of view in order to be responsible for his or her own story. Always remember that your questions should be transparent and not be manipulative. Coaches must focus helping individuals, teams and organizations achieve strategies, create goal shifts, perspectives and keep commitments. This is the best done by questioning. The powerful coaching questions belong to these categories. Engage with a purpose, your opening, advancing to commitment, obtaining commitment, your closing. Engaging with purpose. Ask insightful questions and get the individuals to think about their main purpose. What is the main purpose of the whole coaching engagement? What specific needs, issues and opportunities bring you to coaching? What are the most important strategies and goals that you need to accomplish personally or professionally? What do you want to accomplish as a result of your coaching relationship? What do you see as your best self five years from now? What contributions can you make at your current role of work? What do you need to achieve this goal? Can you make that goal more specific?
How will you know when you achieve that goal? How will you measure success? What it would be different as a result of the time we spent together today? Advancing to commitment. Your questions should help the individual to move to more logical and emotional commitment. Your task is to help the individual take the barriers down to the achievement. What are you currently doing that is working towards your goal? What are the obstacles? How did you address the similar situations in the past? If you had unlimited resources, time, people and energy and you knew you wouldn't fail, what would you try? What resources, including time, money, people and energy you have that you can call on? What are the benefits of going towards these goals and key outcomes? What would be the cost or negative outcome of not doing these things? What is the single most important thing to do now to advance towards your goal? If you went to an expert with your problem, what would that person suggest to you? If you saw someone else in this situation, what would you recommend? On scale from 1 to 10, 10 being in the highs, how motivated likely are you to make that goal to happen in that time frame you've committed to? Obtaining commitment. Obtaining commitment involves summarizing, narrowing the focus and selecting options and confirming next steps. These questions allow the coaches to bring summary and clarity to all the shared information and feelings. Closing the conversations requires that individuals have a clear and memorable summary of what they are committed to do in the next pursuit of their personal goals and aspirations for change. This is what we call confirming the conversation. What are two or three most important things to focus on before our next coaching session? Based on what we have discussed, what it seems to you the most important thing to focus on right now? What would you like to focus on today? What would you do in the next 24 hours, a week or a month to move forward toward your goal? On scale 1 to 10, how motivated are you to take this commitment? Can you think of anything that may stop you from doing it? How will you overcome that barrier? What actions would you focus on in the next 60 or 90 days? What do you need to do to make this commitment going forward? How will you measure success? Internal commitment is your key to success. Creating commitment is the essential closing stage in the coaching process. Commitment arises from the inside out. Any attempt to oppose commitment means the individual would never truly take ownership out of it. This is why powerful questions are such important tools for a coach. Execution of goals. Once a person has made a commitment, the coach's next test is to help that person execute goals and be held accountable. Unless there is an execution and accountability, a coaching engagement becomes pointless and ineffective. How does an effective coach help a person to execute goals? Raise or sharp your focus. Focus provides the clarity necessary to make decisions that support your most important goals. It results in a clearly defined pathway to success. A sharp focus helps you to execute goals the best possible way. Simplify your action. Simplify your game plan and action to make it more powerful play for all level employees. There is nothing better than a powerful yet simple execution plan that every employee can easily understand and take an immediate action.
Learn to say no to wasting time. Say no to activities, tasks, reports, meetings and projects that do not directly support your actions. Learn how to filter new opportunities and stop wasting your time. Repeatedly check if you and your employees are on the same track to complete the project. Scaffold your employees to be constantly reminded about the company goals that have been mutually created. Smart interview process 4 times 4 times 3. Four people interview four candidates on three separate occasions. Choose three main things that truly matter for your organization and brief the candidates on them. Create perpetuum mobile work systems. Bring to perfection work systems that produce results and use them over and over again. For example, you could refer to Napoleon Hill's book The Principles of Success for tips of unlocking true potential techniques of your employees. Create perpetual work systems with these four skills. Lead the team, do the work, share the expertise and get informed. Binocular balance perspective. Always search for general and detailed knowledge of existing projects. Track leading and lagging indicators and change what is necessary. Acknowledge great work and focus on the future steps. Be transparent and keep your results visible to everyone. Create work passion and connection. Create work passion and a sense of connection among employees by developing their business communication intelligence skills. This way, teams, departments, and organizations are built in harmony. Scaffold the employees on company goals and always explain execution of your business strategy. Build a stronger work community. Don't forget that the end product is the result of a teamwork. Always appreciate great work as well as people behind the project. Encourage others, showing uncommon respect with common courtesy. In other words, use meaningful rituals of success to celebrate life and build a stronger work community. Execute today and win tomorrow. When you consistently sharpen your focus, build your business intelligences and engage your passion, you plan the seeds of success. As you stick with your action plan, momentum builds, creating a self-repeated cycle of victory. Execute today and win tomorrow. Bonus material. Why do you need mega skills coaching? We understand your needs. Coaching means to discover the precise nature of the individual's desired destination without the coach imposing his or her personal paradigm, vision, values, or passion. We help you find your desired destination. The greatest challenge for every coach is to help individuals find their desired destination. No matter where your final destination may be, Mega Skills Coach always helps you unlock your true potential and reach L2. We help you get into the flow state. Taking a first step is often hard enough. However, we know that repeated effort will become easier over time. Repeated actions become your habits. The best of all, Mega Skills Coach can help you and your organization get into the flow state. Learn more about how to execute your goals flawlessly and achieve greater inner clarity while in the flow state in our next presentation.